So what is the, um, what's the expected response rate to upfront steroids in general? It's probably 70 to 80 percent, mm -hmm. somewhere in that range. And the duration of response would be? Uh, well, the duration is, is, is uh, for standard prednisone, is, is as long as they continue prednisone, because classically in adult ITP, when you taper, um, as you taper, you're going to start to see a fall in the platelet count mm -hmm. in, in most cases. Occasionally not, uh, but I'd say more often than not you do. And by the time you're out to two and a half, three months and getting off that taper, um, you know, what I see with a lot of patients referred is this seesaw pattern. Yeah. You know, they, they, they fall, they, get a, they go back on high dose prednisone again, yeah. they taper, they fall. And so I don't, I don't like this seesaw. I don't like chronic steroid exposure. I think the toxicity of steroids is really, I don't know how many patients I've seen referred to me who have come in and they've gained 30 pounds, mm -hmm. you know, over the 40 pounds over the previous four months because sure. they've been on steroids almost continuously. Um, I really like to avoid that. Yeah. So uh, and, so, diabetes and, and diabetes. I've seen people get divorced, and it was well, attributed was to steroids. Gonna, I was just going to bring this up when when I if I hope that they've brought in their spouse with them. Yeah. Because I will talk. I will turn to their spouse or their partner, and I'll say, "Listen, it's going to be the drug talking." Yeah. Um, remember that people seem to become more of whatever they are, huh. um, and you know, more inflammatory, more reactive, and I think it's really important um, to tell everybody around them that this could be a tough haul. I had one patient who, um, whenever he had to, when he got IVIG, which was the only thing at that point, this is years ago, that was working, we had to give him steroids along with it. And his family literally would put him on the other end of the house for the few days following those steroids because it was really just so difficult. So I think it's really important to remember just you've got to talk to the whole family because the whole family is going to yeah. be experiencing yeah. this. And when you use steroids, prednisone up front, mm -hmm. because dexamethasone is a pulse that stops, right. but do you, is your intent to get them completely off prednisone or do you Absolutely. continue a low dose? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, is there any such thing as, as an acceptable dose of long-term steroid? And that's a, that's a good question. I in don't ITP. really know. In ITP or anything, really. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I'd say maybe 2.5 milligrams a day, but maybe even that's too much. Mm -hmm. But I would not consider anything more than that. And you know, I like, will sometimes in a very refractory patient who, for whatever reason, seems to be um, under control at five. I'll allow that because I've that's seen a lot, that. right? Yeah, yeah. And it's they say it's a physiologic dose, they but say, it's not without side effects. Right, it's not without side effects. The patients will tell you, I, I do feel differently, but it's usually tolerable. I'm not happy about it, mm -hmm. but there are patients, you know, rather than go to something that's very immunosuppressive, or that's going to be, you know, something that we don't know what the long-term effects may be, or that I think is not gonna last, if I know they're responding. And it's interesting, you know, you can sometimes see these patients who, they're fine at five milligrams, you try and take them down to four, and boom, yeah. they relapse. Yeah. And the patients sometimes get very, very sensitive to these small changes in dose. And then you have to go back and do the whole thing or switch mm -hmm. to another therapy. Well, or at least come up a little bit, yeah. and you know, so. Yeah. And that's that seesaw that we're mm -hmm. always trying to avoid, because it's so hard on the patient. Absolutely.